Hi, thanks for joining us. My name is Kirill. I'm one of the consultants here at Smail Ford. And today we're going to do a quick demonstration of how to connect your Android device to Bluetooth in a Ford vehicle with SYNC 3. We're also going to show you how to connect your Android Auto uh, to any Android Auto capable vehicle, pretty much anything that has SYNC 3. Um, so first thing you're going to want to do is obviously make sure your car is on, make sure your phone is on. Um, and what you're going to want to do is go into your settings and first and foremost go into connections click on Bluetooth and make sure your Bluetooth is on. Once you make sure that your Bluetooth is on on your phone, uh, what you want to do is on your screen here, you'll see a thing that says phone, or you can click on the one that says connect a phone. Either one will work. I'm going to do the connect a phone just because it's a little quicker. Uh, now here there is already a pre-saved device, but that's for an Apple device, so we're just going to ignore that and click on add phone. Once you click on add phone, um, it'll start scanning devices in the area. So you'll see here, uh, it'll show up, no devices found currently. A lot of the times you'll have to just turn it off and turn it back on just to refresh it. So we'll give it a second here and then you'll see Ford Explorer pops right up. So you just click right on Ford Explorer, give it a second to load, make sure the numbers both match and then go ahead and click OK on both of those. For your safety, please stay alert to and it'll give you a couple messages on your phone asking permission to allow your messages, allow access to your messages, allow access to your location, a couple of those things. So if you want, you know, full connection, you're just going to want to hit allow on all those, give it full access, and that'll give you, you know, the, the full experience. Um, other than that, that's, that's it. We're connected to Bluetooth. We're good to go. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is show you how to do Android Auto. So Android Auto, you are able to use it wirelessly. However, the first time you plug it in, you do have to use a cord to set it up. So go ahead and plug your phone in down here. And then you just want to plug it down into your phone. Prompts will come up on your phone, just giving you general information about how this service works. Same thing on your screen. Uh, it'll say some sync services will be replaced with Android Auto, so you just want to hit continue for that. And then on your screen will come up a quick privacy in terms of use. Click agree to that. And on your phone, same thing. A couple quick um, notifications on there. Really just gives you a quick breakdown of what the app does. And then you'll notice that the phone screen just says Android Auto, so you can put that down. You're done working with that. Um, and so now the screen in your, in your Ford will work pretty much just like your phone screen. So we're going to skip all the little tutorials for what it can do and just jump straight into it. So here you're going to see your main screen. Uh, so this one shows us, you know, how far it is to our home, the weather locally, and then the most recent call. The middle circle here, that's going to be like your home button on your device. To the left of it, you have, you know, your call log. And, your phone contacts and all that keypad down here you can scroll it up and down uh, furthest most left is going to be your navigation so you do have the option of using uh, your Google Maps and then just recently they have added the capability of running Waze up on that screen so if you know Waze you know it's probably the best uh, navigation app, app out there so now you can just use it seamlessly with your uh, Ford vehicle other than that, to the right over here, we have you know a little music category where any of your music apps will pop up. So you know Google Playbooks, Google Play Music, uh, Spotify, Pandora, things of that nature will show up here as well. And the button all the way on the right that just takes you back to your regular Ford screen. Um, so as you can see, it's all pretty easy, very straightforward. It all gives you prompts. It kind of walks you through it. So. If you don't have anyone there to help you, you feel unsure, just give it a try. It's really not as hard as it seems. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it as far as connecting your Android device to your Bluetooth and Android Auto in your Ford vehicle. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please throw them down in the comment section below. Um, and thank you again for joining us today. Uh, make sure to visit us online at smailford.com.